Today's video will focus on the user profile area within the Knowledge Smart Tools. To access this profile area, simply click the user area icon from the main login area. Now enter your user details. Click login to continue. So this personal dashboard has been created to make it a little bit easier for individuals to manage their profile, invite history, learning evidence and assessment results. There are also some valuable benchmarking data to review. Annual appraisals and performance reviews will be enhanced by the ability to capture multiple human resources, training and learning resources all in one single place. The first screen you land on offers a very valuable dashboard in terms of your current status within the Knowledge Smart Tools. So how many rec rec uh, documents have you uploaded, how many assessments have you completed and a quick summary of your scores. Now let's take a look at the submenus in a bit more detail. When we click the My Details submenu, we land up on this page. Here we're able to change your personal password for Knowledge Smart and we're up able to upload a profile picture to make this a bit more personal. Just notice there for best results upload a square image of around 300 pixels wide and then under the About Me section you get to see a quick summary of all the personal data held for you uh, by Knowledge Smart. If any of these details change, you're also able to come and make those amendments here and then just simply click Save to record those changes. Next up, we'll take a look at the My Achievements page. So the My Achievement page offers an opportunity to upload any useful documents and records relating to your personal development and learning history. Examples of these are training completion certificates, exam results, certification evidence, CPD records, perhaps an academic transcript or your CV or resume. When you upload the new file via this link over here, um, your file names will appear here on the right. You have a couple of options. The first one is to click this icon over here, the one in grey which will then make that specific file a public record or shareable item. When you click the envelope icon, you are able to create a public URL whereby you can share this document via a link and you're also able to download the document later on if you need to. If the document is no longer relevant, you can use this icon here on the right to delete the document. Next up, let's go to the My Assessment submenu. So the My Assessments uh, page enables users to view Knowledge Smart assessments that they have taken or have been invited to take. So they can view a quick summary of the assessment results by simply clicking on the assessment name or where assessments are still in progress or have not been started. They are also able to resume these sessions from within the submenu. The other options on this page is this little rosette icon over here which will load the relevant assessment certificate which can then be downloaded or shared and this little um, icon here on the right which will open up more details on that specific assessment that has been completed. Just to quickly show you what the assessment certificate looks like and of course, once you've um, incorporated your own logo, your own logo will appear here on the left and then this certificate can be shared via these options here on the left hand side of the screen. Next up, we will take a look at the My Scores page and this is the place for users to view all their Knowledge Smart scores in one place. The available data includes benchmark comparisons, performance charge, and skills gap summaries. Down here you can also view the benchmark data from an internal organization view perspective and also from a global view perspective and this of course compares your results against the global benchmark data held by KnowledgeSmart. 
If for some reason you do not have the ability to share your assessment results or even access the user profile area, this is something to discuss with your local um, Knowledge Smart administrator because they will have the right to activate the user pages as well as the ability to share. We hope that you've enjoyed this video about the Knowledge Smart user profile area. We encourage you to log into this profile from time to time and utilize the valuable data housed here for discussion during meetings or simply to keep on top of your own personal development journey.